it's Thursday the 27th of December and uh, me and Mr. Poms, aka my friend John, there he is, are just off to a permission. I uh, hope everyone had a great Christmas and we'll see you when we get there. Here we are and I'll tell you what, it is freezing. It might look warm but it's freezing. Right, nothing go uh, good so far. But I just pulled this. That's a 15. 15, 16. Right, I've got the plug and I can see something in the hole just down there. That's looking like a ring pull. It is a ring pull. Oh, God, it's going to be one of them days. Right, I think we've just had our first decent find down there. I'm going to say that's either a coin or a button. Oh, would you believe it? <laughs> it's a modern, it's a modern coin. And that is, oh, it's a five pence. I've got a good mind to put that back in the hole. Right, just poking out of this one. See it there, rung up a 19. I thought it was gonna be a shotgun, shotgun end. But that's looking like a pistol ball. See in the top there, see it's got the, the little nipple. Yeah, it's a little, little pistol ball. I'm chuffed with that. There's hope yet. <laughs> right, just down there, that is looking like another coin. Just in the side of the plug there. Please be old. Oh, we've got this, it's another five pence. No way, I don't believe it. It is as well. Oh my god. Never mind. It's a coin. The coin's a coin. Right, look at that then. That was a fantastic signal. That's a, a 50 caliber bullet tip. That's been there a while, John, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure it's 50 cal though. It's big. You don't think? No. We'll take it. We'll certainly take it. Right now, we're going to have a a little dig around in these woods. See what we can find. Just come across this tree, look at this. It's like I said, I don't know, has it been on fire at some point? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, just down now, that is looking like a coin. Is it a coin or a button? That is. I'm gonna say, oh, it's a button. I thought it was a coin. You just see on the back there where the where the shank would have been. Can't really get any detail off that. Just see down there, look. See where the colors come off. Hopefully you can see that. Where that was in the side like that. And also on here, look. You can see the, uh, the coloring where it's come off. Here's another tree with a big hole in the bottom. I wonder what it's like in here. Let's go and have a look. Well, we just had a, a little bite to eat. Come straight out. We're on our, on our way to the next destination. I've just got a signal. And I'm, I think it's two coins together which it is not looking very old or are they uh, I'll have to I'll have to have a look I think that's a 5p that bottom one I'll have a look and get back to you right it did turn out to be uh, a 1p and a 5p I'll just checked over the hole again which i should do all the time but i don't always do it and we got an, another coin which is a two pound coin right we're in another set of woods now and i'm not going to lie it's a nightmare to detect in here just to go slow just found this bone look at that i wonder what that come off right just down there 
it looks like a button. Is it a button or a rivet? Oh, I think it might be a, a rivet. No, it is a button. Oh, this one's quite interesting as well. Is that the, some sort of handle, is it? I think that's, actually, I think that's hollow. Not getting any, any real markings off it. Oh, there's something there, isn't it? What's that? That's the back of something. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's something else. Does that go with that? That looks like something off of a... Possibly off a watch, is it? Is there any more in there? No, I think that's it. Oh my God, look at that. It's, I love that. Right, I've just caught up with John. And uh, these two two bits I found, we do believe that to be, what did we say, a brooch, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I reckon it's probably a brooch. Looks looks kind of Victorian style, doesn't it, I think. Yeah. We're known dots around the outside of the other piece there. So we're, we're thinking that would have been like that. And then that's obviously the back. Possibly, we could be wrong. If we are wrong, please someone correct us. But that is awesome, I love that. Yeah, it's really nice. The detail on that is fantastic. And I think there's a chance that it could be silver as well. It has got marks. I did see I did see a, a mark in there, but I can't. There's something there. I need is to, that an S? Need to have a, need to have a look. In the middle, something there, isn't there? Yeah, I can't, I can't I make it. Could be an S there. Can't make it out. Right. We're back out in the woods, back on the field, and we're back on the coins. What we got in there? Yeah, that's looking, that's looking modern. Is that modern? I'm pretty sure that is. I'll give it, I'll give it a little clean. Right, I've cleaned it up as good as I can, and it's a one shilling from 1950. 1953, also used as a five pence. So at least it's a pre death so we're getting somewhere. Right, next up, just pulled this out. Don't know if you're getting the detail off that. It's got a bit of, bit of a pattern on there. I've not got a clue what it is, no surprise there. Right, this one's in the in the clod somewhere. Let's say right about there. That's looking coinish. Is that a coin? That is a coin. What have we got then? I think that's modern. Is that modern? Well, I'll have to I'll have to give that a quick clean up, and I'll let you know. But first glance, I'm going to say that's modern. Yep, I was right. It's a modern day one penny. Right, just looking in there in the side of the hole there. That's looking like another coin. Or is it a shotgun end? Ah. Oh. You bugger. It's a shotgun end. I thought you was a coin. Damn you. Looks like we got another coin. Oh, that's modern as well, isn't it? Is that a 50 pence? It is a 50 pence. Well, it'd be rude not to take it, wouldn't it, I suppose? <laughs> 